Hey, cool kids, and happy Valentine's Day. I hope that that holiday went well for you. As you were probably able to discern from the shower curtain behind me, I am not in my regular filming spot. I am instead in a hotel bathroom in Michigan. I spent the majority of my day at Wheaton College in Wheaton, Illinois, where I was visiting and visiting classes to see if I want to go to school there. And it was greatly enjoyable. The last class I went to was a classics and Western literature class, and uh, the majority of the time was spent discussing the Aeneid and also the Odyssey. If you're unfamiliar with the plots of these two Greek classics, I will not enlighten you. You can instead pause this video and go look them up on Wikipedia. Did you do it? Do it. Okay. The discussion of the Aeneid and the Odyssey led to the conclusion that there is a fundamental difference between being driven by hope and being driven by memory. And by conclusion, I refer not to the kind of conclusion where if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Not that kind. I just mean it ended there. Like it concluded, like ended. Like this video will do. At, at the end of this video. Not right now. Because in the Odyssey, you have Odysseus, who is trying to reach home because he is driven by the memories of home. The memory of his wife, and, and his family, and his house, and all that stuff. Whereas in the Aeneid, you have Aeneas, who is driven not by a memory, but by the vision he receives from the gods of the city, Rome, that he is going to create. That's all very interesting, and we'll get back to that soon. Also today, but completely unrelated to my visit to Wheaton College, I read an article by John Ziziolis about symbol, but it was very specific kind of symbol. It was narrowed down to historically and eschatologically contextualized symbol within the liturgy of the Orthodox Church. This article made the argument that a symbol derives its meaning not from the nature of the thing being used as a symbol, but rather from this historical event that is being a symbol for and the eschatological event that that historical event points towards. So a historical event happens, a present symbol points back to the historical event, which points forward to an eschatological event. So now we have three ideas in the hotel bath encounter. The idea of being driven by memory, the idea of being driven by hope, and the idea of historically and eschatologically contextualized symbol. So in the Aeneid, when Aeneas visits the underworld and receives a vision of the ideal Roman society that he is going to create, he also receives a shield which has pictorial or iconological depictions of events which are to take place that will lead to the creation of this uh, Roman society. But Aeneas doesn't know that they're pictorial representations of future events, he just thinks that they're cool pictures. The depictions on those shields are symbols for historical events, and those historical events point forward to the eschatological event of an ideal Roman society. And here the terminology breaks down, but I'm too lazy to make up my own, so you're just going to have to accept eschatological as meaning just anything that happens in the future, right? Okay. And also you'll have to ignore the fact that the depictions are of future events, not past events. The connection between these three ideas is that symbol, or historically and eschatologically contextualized symbol, is a synthesis of being driven by hope and being driven by memory. And that idea was cool, so I thought I'd share it with you. Wait, what?